Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica McDonald. I'm a knitwear designer and today I'm going to show you how to sew down a folded neckline. This tutorial will work for any neckline where you've picked up the stitches because um, you need to have this little ridge from the picked up stitches and then you're going to fold it over and sew it down like so. This is Silver Birch. It is a cabled sweater and I have picked up the stitches along the neckline. So I've already picked them all up and I've knit my neckline to twice the length I want it to be in the end after it's folded. And then this is very important. When you bind off this neckline here, when you bind off this ribbing, you want to bind off all of the stitches knit wise. Don't bind off in knit one purl one pattern or whatever the pattern is for the ribbing you're working. Knit them all as you bind them off. Do you see this nice tidy little braid? It comes towards the front of the ribbing, towards you, the knitter, a little bit. If you bind off in pattern, this little braid sits on top of the stitches, like in my sweater cuff. I've bound off in pattern, so the bind off, that nice little braid of bound off stitches, sits on top of the ribbing. But since I've bound off this neckline in knit, this bind off, this little braid, sits at the front of the ribbing, which makes it really easy to sew down. I'm gonna show you that. You'll see in just a second, I'm gonna turn it inside out. So that's the next thing to do, turn it inside out. And you take your neckline and fold it down. When you fold down this neckline, this braid, this tidy little braid that you created, just sits really nicely. Let me focus this a little better. It sits really nicely along here. You can see it's rolled a little bit towards the front, so it's gonna be really easy to sew into these bound off stitches. So we've got our sweater inside out. You've knit your whole neckline, you've woven in the end, so I've already woven in the end here, this is where the end was. I should weave in this end before I start probably, I'll get it later. Um, and you're ready to go. See, I left the end here a little bit long because it's just going to be on the inside. So now you're ready to sew, get a tapestry needle a long length of yarn, probably three times the length of your neckline. I just got a really long piece of yarn and now we're gonna go. So one thing you really need to keep track of as you are working this is you wanna make sure that your column stays lined up. So here's my column of knit stitches, this column here. I want to line it up with the base of that column so I'm not shifting the collar and making a bias. So we're gonna bring that column down here, right down to its base. This is where we're gonna start. I'm just gonna fold a little more so it's a little easier. I'm starting at the back of the neck so that it's just a nice invisible place to have my beginning and my end. Make sure I have the same column again. Very carefully lining it up. Now I'm gonna take my yarn you can see from the picked up stitches, I have a little, I have these, these knit stitches along here. I'm gonna grab one leg, the leg that's near to my neckline, and I'm gonna grab the near leg of the bind off. And I'm going to pull my yarn through. I'm gonna leave a tail for weaving in later. And now I'm off. Then I take my needle the other way through the one leg of the bound off stitches to the near leg of the stitches from the picked up row. Then I'm going to get the near leg of the picked up ridge and grab the near leg of the bound off stitches. So it really is very simple. So you work through it, you're just going up and down, grabbing the near leg as you go. Don't pull it super duper tight. You still want this neckline to have some flex to it so that you can actually put the sweater on over your head. 
I'm using a new piece of yarn instead of the bind, you know, the yarn you have when you bind off. Don't leave that a long tail and use that. Use a new piece of yarn so that if someday, if this breaks, this sewn down section breaks, you can just sew it back down again with a new piece of yarn instead of having your whole sweater start to fall apart and having to redo the entire neckline. Every little bit as you go, you need to check and make sure that your columns are still lining up. So I'm gonna put my needle through here. This is my column. It's gonna be, since it's a per, uh, knit column on this side, it's gonna be a purl column on the other side. So I'm gonna make sure that this purl column is lining up, and it is. So I'm just gonna keep on, keep on going. And every inch or inch and a half, I'll just check and make sure that my columns are still lining up. Sometimes you might need to skip a stitch in the ridge from when you picked up. So you see, I'm skipping this stitch here so that your neckline ribbing stays nice and straight and you're not giving it a twist as you go. As you can see, it's really, really nice and flat. The light's kind of glaring here, but you can see there's no bump here. There's no ridge created by sewing this down. It's nice and smooth and flat, and it stays flexible, and it stays strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this entire neckline, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Here we are back again. The neckline is finished. Here's where the two ends came together. This is the back. Here is the front. You can see it lays really, really nice and flat. It's really neat. There's no bump or ridge here, but it's still, it's still really flexible and it's still really strong. So there you can see, let's focus on there. You can see that it's nice and flat. And it looks really tidy. The inside looks really good. It looks really, really good. Really pretty. It's the nice little braid lays along there. And that is how I finish my folded over necklines. So, there it is. Oh, I should show you from the other side too. You probably want to see the right side as well. So here's the right side. I've already tried it on and it fits really nice. It lays really nice, so here's how it looks on the right side. Happy knitting, you guys.